So today I bought the car to a nearby vendor uh, to get the wheel alignment and balancing checked and rectified if there is a uh, something is off with respect to that. Uh, so when I gave the car for service in BMW, the one thing which I didn't want BMW to do uh, is to check and correct the wheel alignment and balancing. The primary reason for that, first thing it was not included in my service package which I availed with BMW. And uh, because of that, um, if they do it, then I'll have to pay out of my pocket for that. And the second thing, the charge they quoted for that uh, is ridiculous because uh, they quoted around 8K plus GST uh, to get both the wheel alignment checked and rectified, also with the balancing for four wheels. Uh, when you do it outside, it's more like five times less than what they are quoting. So I thought it actually makes sense to take the car out and do it uh, so that it's uh, economical for me. So this is what they use to do the wheel balancing. So they keep the wheel over here along with the tire and rotate it. And there will be a measurement shown in this screen. And this needs to be zero when the proper balancing is done. And to balance it, they use these strips. These are weight strips. And this kind of strip is used for alloy wheels. And you also have these kind of uh, weight. Uh, which gets added to the uh, normal wheels. In order to do the alignment, they will first lock the steering wheel and then attach sensors to all the four wheels and in the system they will choose the vehicle model and get all the specs for the wheels. So they have fixed these sensors to all the four wheels and these sensors, what it does, this will send infrared signals to these sensors and it gets the feedback which is being shown in the monitor over there. So that is how uh, the system knows uh, what is the angle at which the wheels are in. So the whole setup that you see right here is what is being used in order to check and correct the wheel alignment. So the screen here shows uh, the measurements of the angle at which the wheels are right now in. So the technicians will make use of these information to correct the wheel alignment and uh, bring it to uh, the proper alignment angles. Before we move on to the measurements, let's take a look at the parameters with respect to the wheel alignment. There are three parameters, caster, camber and toe. I hope the diagram speaks for itself. Caster is the tilt of the axis that the wheel stays around. Camber is the angle of the tire in relation to the road surface. And toe is a measurement of how much the wheel is turned in or out from a straight ahead position. The measurements you see on the screen are for the rear wheels. The red denotes that those are off a bit. So the technicians will work uh, towards bringing it to proper alignment and then uh, it will turn green. So after the rear wheels are done, they will make proper adjustment to the front wheels as well. When the balancing and alignment were done, I took the car for a test drive. Since this was the first balancing and alignment I did for the car, I was able to feel the difference when I was driving it. The wheel aligner system which we saw also generate a comparison view of the alignment performed by giving us a before and after view of the three parameters for all the wheels. Coming to the bill, the cost of balancing a single wheel is 200 so in total it comes to 800 and uh, for alignment it is 700 and adding GST it comes to 1770. Now to answer the questions like why it needs to be done, the reason being the bad wheel alignment can cause the parts to wear out faster. You'll be able to spot the impact in tires, wheel bearings, ball joints and wheel suspension parts as well. So these can be really costly to repair or replace 
and most importantly that wheel alignment raises safety concern for you and those on the road with you as it impacts the handling of the car now how to identify the wheel balancing and alignment issues so there are various ways to find out whether your car's wheel balancing and alignment is off or not the first one being check the steering wheel if your steering wheel is not perfectly centered uh, with your tires completely straight then you have alignment issues and the car will show handling problems such as uh, steering wheel play drifting instability when you turn the car vibrations and uh, constant steering adjustments are signs of uh, a wheel alignment problem and also as i said the tires uh, will wear out faster than we expect them to so when to do wheel alignment and balancing so considering the relatively low cost of wheel alignment it makes sense to have it checked maybe after every 5000 kilometers this will help you make the most out of your tires and also increases uh, the life of uh, many parts above all it helps to keep you and your family safe so that's everything i wanted to share about the wheel alignment and balancing hope it helps at least some of you until we meet next time thanks for watching and bye bye